So what we want is we want the dogs to be kind of a square. Okay, so their front legs, their torso, and then their hind legs. The angulation, what you want to look at is the, this is the shoulder blade, the scapula. Okay, and then it moves into the humerus and then down the forearm. So you want kind of a Z formation. If they're, if they're really straight legged, you'll see the elbow will be extremely straight up and down and that's not good. So you always want a nice little angle and sometimes they're straight in the shoulder as well. So they'll just be really tight and really straight in the shoulder. Then in the rear, you want the same. You want this kind of a Z formation. So this is the hip, this is the knee, this is the hock or the ankle. And you can kind of see how you have these angles, okay? So they're not straight. She tends to be a little bit straight in her hocks. So as she stands, if I can get her to do that, you'll see that she loses a lot of angulation in here. And that's going to change the kneecap. It's going to change the biomechanics in the knee and it could cause luxation, which means movement of the kneecap. Okay, we call that the patella. So the straighter they are in the hocks, then they're going to change the anatomy here and the biomechanics of the knee. So you want some angle, and that's what you want to look at, and you want to see if they're square, okay, and angles in the front as well. So her weight, her weight looks pretty good. And what, uh, again, what we want to look at is we want to look at three different things. We want to look at the ribs. So you have to feel these or visibly look at them. Um, hers, you can barely see, but uh, she does not have a lot of fat over the ribs, which is good. So with light pressure, I can actually count each rib. Um, so that's good. So she's perfect there. We also look at the tummy tuck area. So you see how from her rib cage down here, her stomach actually comes up. Okay, so that's a tummy tuck. If they're overweight, they're baggy down here. Okay, so this is very nice, good tummy tuck. And you can kind of see there's a little crease in here. This is the flank area. And that's, that's what we want too. And if you look over her, we look, aerial view, we look down at the dog and we want to look at the end of her ribs and then her pelvis and her hips and there's definitely indentation here and there's an hourglass shape right there so that looks good very nice and fit so those are the three things we look at the ribs palpate light pressure you want to feel tummy tuck and then looking over the dog you want to make sure that you see an hourglass shape Okay, so on Tucker, Tucker's a little bit overweight, and how we can tell is, you can actually see, I call this the special K pinch, so I can actually pick tissue up in between my fingers. We look at his rib cage, and with light pressure, I should be able to feel ribs, and I can't. I can't feel anything but just a lot of tissue, okay? And then if we look at his, so that he's definitely overweight there, and if we look at his abdomen, being a male, he has a prepuce, but he should have more of a tummy tuck, okay? His stomach should be up a little bit higher, kind of following the rib cage back here, all right? So he's a little bit saggy, so he's got a little extra weight there. And then when I look at him from an aerial view, from a top view, there's no good hourglass shape. There's a little bit, because he is actually losing a little bit of weight, which is good, but um, it's almost straight. And we want from the, the rib cage to the pelvis and the hip area, we want there to be a good indentation. And he's, he's getting there but um, you can see that he doesn't have a good hourglass shape. So if we were to grade him, you want about a three and a half, and he's, he's about a four, okay? So he's getting there. He was probably a four and a half, um, but now he's, uh, 
he's getting on his way to three. So you want about three and a half, even three for some agility dogs. Okay, we like to have them very thin. So good job, Tucker. <laughs> good boy. What you could do is also look at your hand and pretend it's the ribs. And I'm going to show you what we want as far as how much you should feel, how much fat you should feel between the ribs and the skin. Okay? So if you feel your own knuckles like this, that is exactly how much skin and tissue you should feel over those ribs. If you turn your hand over and you feel your knuckles on this side, that's too much. So you want your dog to feel like your knuckles like this versus your knuckles like this.